Yo, 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 what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Most Bone. You guys know exactly why you're here. You're here for the clutch time. So I already completed clutch time on my other account. I showed you guys a one hour video of me playing that, me getting the rewards, this, this, and that. I also just dropped the Damian Lillard gameplay. So if you guys didn't see that, both of those are linked down below. You guys can check them out after or before, whatever you want. Now I'm on my pretty new account. And I'm going to show you guys my tips and tricks to how I would go about winning this. I thought it would make sense going on an account that doesn't really have a good team, right? So that way I could show you guys literally what I would do. Main thing you want to do since this is five minute quarters and it's called clutch time is to have a good balance of guys. Offense and defense are both important. You can't just have an offensive team. You can't just have a defensive team. You want to be able to score and stop the other guys from scoring. So obviously two way guys are your best bet. They can do it on both ends of the court. If you have guys like that, I highly, highly recommend. I could go per position and tell you guys what I would do, and I think that might be a move. So at the one, the guy I was using on the other account was John Morant. You can use whoever you're most comfortable with. Some people are going to use Steve Francis. I could see that free card. Great, great, great. Honestly, budget guys, DeJounte Murray, I probably would mind using that. I see, like, I'm going to use Marcus Smart. I want an offensive point guard. That's how I go about it. Point guard should be offensive in my mind. You want him to be able to stop on a dot, dot, stop on a dime and hit that four. You want him to be able to do little things like that. The shooting guard position, I've also went with, like, sharp shooters on the other account. I went with Devin Booker. Not the best defender, but he was able to hit. So Terry Rozier is a little small, so I wouldn't recommend him at the two. He's 6'1". I could go with Evan Fournier. I like his shot. He's 6'7", could shoot. You could do something like that. You can really run just anyone that's able to do little things like that. And I'm going to go with Karan Butler. Why not? Karan Butler, he can do both things. He can shoot. He can defend a little bit. He's not bad. He's a free card. So I'm just showing you guys how you can win with pretty much anybody, any team, any given moment. Literally. So we're going to go with Robert Covington at a three. I think this card is straight up made for this mode. Him or Bridges, great, great cards. I would recommend them both. I would run Bridges at the three and Covington at the four. Sadiq Bey can run. I was using Melo on the other account. You really can't go wrong with like a defender at the three either if you want to go with Bobby Jones or Silas or something like that. But I recommend my defenders at the four and five. And then the four defender can always be switched matchup to play someone smaller, right? Always. But... You want these guys to be 3 and D guys. So I'm taking Robert Covington because I have Nicholas Batum. So Nick Batum, I think, is also really made for this mode. And the crazy thing is, I played over 50 games, and people don't even use these cards. If you have a Jonathan Isaac, I highly recommend Jonathan Isaac, too. I would run him right now. But I think I'm going to take Batum and Covington. I don't, like, Jonathan, I feel bad because I feel like he could definitely, definitely run in this mode. He could shoot. And he could defend and he could do all the little things. Like I said, Sadiq is a good option too for cheap. I'm just giving you guys cheap options. I don't want you guys to say, oh, you need this card or this card. Like, I could literally go in this with Wang, who costs like 2K. I don't think Marcus costs too much. Covington, Nicholas. I could use a free lineup. My other team was all rewards. Like, straight up. I just realized my Elgato froze. I hope you guys understood what I was saying. But yeah, I put Nicholas Batum here. I don't actually mind, like I said, using Wang or something like that. That's not even a bad option. I think I'm going to take Vucevic for now just to see what's up. I've seen a lot of people use him, and he's pretty good. But yeah, Jonathan Isaac is definitely a great, great option too. Very, very cheap and reliable. I could definitely run him over Batum, to be honest. But I think this is a comfortable team to rock with. I honestly don't think it even matters what team I go in here with. One thing I also recommend is looking at your coach. Your coach is very important. So I fully grinded out a Dom just to get this Steph Curry to be my coach. Why do I want Steph to be my coach? Look what he does to a team, man. He increases your three ball, your mid range to literally all my guards. He makes my shooting guards, small forwards, all that even better at shooting as well. My centers go up in pretty much so many things as well and this is literally a free coach so if you have a chance to get Steph you don't even have to play out the whole domination you just have to play like two games of each division so you make it to the top and then get that Steph Curry so once Steph is active on my active lineup he is my coach for clutch time and now we are ready to go into game number one and talk this through now one thing we need to know is it doesn't matter who we're playing against if you're comfortable with your guys you know they can play defense you know they can play offense it really doesn't matter who you match up with I'm never worried about that at all i've just go into a game i got lucky with matchmaking here but matchmaking doesn't always give you luck if you have a bad team because you can literally play anyone there's no like real matchmaking stuff what i need to know is who i'm gonna attack i know that steph can't play good defense so i'm attacking him straight up from one to 
five minutes. Like, the whole game, I'm attacking that Steph Curry. He can't defend me. He has two bigs that could defend, though. DJ, as well as Serge Ibaka. So, I probably don't really want to go and attack his bigs. I need to be smart. Take open shots. You can't force it. One reason I was losing games is because I was looking for the four-point line. I'm going to tell you guys when not to look for it and when to, like, look for it and stuff like that. But 90% of the time, you don't even have to go for it at all. You really don't. You just take it if you're open. I love it in transition. I think transition fours are the vibe. Every single person here should be able to shoot it for me. We're going to find out right now. But first off, you want to play defense. Let the other guys shoot fours. If you want to take fours, man, I will give them to you gladly, gladly. So I'm starting off going to the rim, right? There's nobody there. DJ was there, and then he moved, so I thought I was good. But he stopped me there. Now we're moving on back to transition defense. Once again, I don't mind him taking fours, but I don't want him to be open, right? I don't want him to be open, so I'm going to play a little bit of defense. Great contest there. My guys are contesters. And I only take open shots, to be honest. Like, if I don't take open shots, then what am I really doing, right? Now, this is a bad start because I'm talking, right? I'm talking. But real, real important thing is to know that 14-second shot clock. A lot of people get shot clock violations. A lot of people don't realize the time. He just barely beat it right there. 14 seconds isn't a lot of time. It is if you use it correctly. But if you don't and you're not aware, it's going to go by in a heartbeat. I actually shouldn't have done that because Marcus wasn't like he was wide open. He rolled and I should have been smarter there. But right here, we're hustling back. I don't know how Steph hit that. He probably has a couple shooting badges on that bad boy. Otherwise, there's no way he hits that. Now, I see here I'm getting off bolt, so I'm going to run the same thing. We got to run the screen action to see how he reacts to it multiple times. And right now, I'm going to take that. Shouldn't be a bad shot. Karan has badges. So catch and shoot with guys that can shoot is very, very important. So if you have a shooter, that's one thing that was really carrying me in the last game. I had Hall of Fame catch and shoot on John Morant. Every time I gave him the ball, he would hit it. And that's something that if you have guys that could do that. One guy I didn't even recommend is Eddie Jones. Eddie Jones is made for this mode too. Definitely, definitely highly recommend if you have an Eddie Jones to run him. But yeah, if someone's off on you, definitely run pick and rolls. Watch how he reads or reacts to it if he's going to pick up. If he's going to pick up, then you pass to the roller, right? You pass to the roller. If he's not going to pick up, then that's where you're going to shoot over the pick. Another thing to note is pick and fades. People who off ball do not know how to guard a pick and fade to save their life. How do you run a pick and fade? I'm going to show you right now because this would be ideal against this matchup right here. So I'm going to hit L1 and then I'm going to hit R1. R1 is going to make him fade instead of roll. And I just sold right there. But Marcus Smart is a shooter. So we're valid right there. Also, obviously, you guys, you're comfortable with shooting. You want to be able to green. You want to be able to light it up. Guys that you know their jump shot like the back of your hands, as they say. And that's a great take right there. But my boy Vucevic with the reaction time. Now, here we go. We're going to run another pick and fade with the guy he's off bowling with. So that's usually ideal. And look at the ball movement. Oh, Batum just cut out of nowhere. But Covington is open. We take the three open all day every day if you have an open three take it all day every day for real and passing is the reason you get open passing well passing aware and then you guys can see how we recover on both ends i'm usually manning right because man helps me stay in front of whoever i need to stay in front of you want to be able to get back on defense i'll give you guys some more tips this isn't just me like just talking like that there's obviously so many more tips i don't know how i made that but i will take that vucevic thank you for the steal there sometimes you want to be able to change it up don't always run back sometimes change it up and stay up and we get marcus here going to the rim we got a wide open shooter in covington again bang 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 that's ball movement we up 17 to 6 with a random team that i just created so that was win number one on the yes auction house team you love to see it let's go for win number two but like i was saying eddie jones a good vibe right here i could switch up this team and i'm comfortable no matter what i do no matter who i'm playing literally i could use francis now out of nowhere i can go ahead and take out covington who just hit threes and go use bridges i'm still comfortable so don't feel like oh i don't have a good enough team that's not a good excuse it's really about how you play and obviously who you play is important but adjusting is something you got to do. James Harden is made for this mode. I will give you that. James Harden is one of the best offensive weapons for this mode. And AK is really, really made for this mode. Can play both ends of the court very well. Can shoot. Can defend. Really, really highly recommend as well. My man going straight to settings. So I don't really use settings in this mode. I don't think it's very, very important. 
But I will do settings if the other person does settings. Because if he does settings, that means he wants a good advantage. And I'm not going to give him that advantage. Because settings do give you an advantage most times. So for defensive settings, I usually put it on tight. I'm lagging right here. But for drive help, I put that on no help as well. Otherwise, like, they're obviously going to help off the corners. But that helps them stay a little bit more. I changed my freelance to Hawks. That way, I, I'm just telling you guys what I do. Make sure you change your adaptive coach engine off. That's the most important thing. Or everything you just did made absolutely no sense. And then your help defense, I've tried this on zero. I've tried this on every number. 35 is a vibe. Somebody told me 35. I've been running it at 35. That helps you, like, not leave. Like, it obviously, you still leave the corner a lot. But that's my settings that I go with. And it, it helps a little bit more. So, we're going up against KG. That means I don't want to pass the ball to Vucevic except if it's on fades. That's stuff that I, like, mentally note before the game starts. It's going to be hard to stop KG for the most part, especially that Vucevic not as athletic. But we're going to make it happen. Now, I already had a terrible, terrible possession. Terrible, terrible possession. I, I, I was trying to, like, explain something, and I did a terrible job at that. We're going to have to go into a freelance fast. It's 14-second shot clock, so you got to do everything fast. So, we're going to hit right on our D-pad right you want to take advantages of free throws too wait i thought he was taking three free throws for a second all right he just took a while all right so we hit right on our d-pad and then we're gonna hit l1 freelance and then we're gonna click x for our hawks freelance that we just set we're gonna attack the paint right here and force him to double right he forced to double and i had vucevic wide open if he didn't foul now we gotta take advantage of any opportunity we have he is on bowling us which is great so we're gonna still take advantage of the fade the fade is usually a vibe in this game mode especially against most people and this is a bad start but this is not where you panic this is not where you go oh let me go take fours now nope you don't panic you keep playing the ball the same way you've been playing it really he's gonna give in i'm not the type to panic after a couple possessions it's only been like three four possessions we gotta slowly 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 figure it out great defense there we kind of just got a lucky stop more or less we're playing some defense man that's all it is coming back defensively you get some defense you're out to the races on offense and you're shooting bad shots with Marcus Smart. You love to see it. This kid is getting too comfortable and thinks he won the game. This is where you prove him wrong, right? Slowly but surely. Since there's a 14 second shot clock, that other guy has to go fast. He can't hold the ball. He can't waste time in the three minutes. So you know you can go for twos. You're gonna he's gonna have to go quick. So if your defense is special, you will get the stops necessary and you will have mad opportunities. I need that three Covington. I'm not giving up because I'm telling you guys, you don't have to give up. You can always come back. Obviously, 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 if the guy is way better than you, hit the quit, hit the dash. But this kid's not better than me, and I know that. I know that for a fact. He just got some lucky opportunities. He's probably getting that rebound. Nope. Great crash from my guys, and now we have the free throw line. Thank you for stopping the clock for me, man, giving me free points. We've been struggling a little bit on offense, mainly because we're talking. But regardless, thank you for giving us the opportunity so I said opportunity cut at this lead without the clock running, man. Without the clock running. We got another stop and we out right here. Marcus, I need that. Thank you. Thank you. I'm telling you, no threes or fours necessary yet. We heating up as a team. This kid is really seriously choking. I need that rebound. Look at Batum doing it on both ends. We out in transition right here. And look, I got Batum wide open for three. Please, I need that. Let's go. You see this, man? Y'all see what I'm talking about? It's never over, especially if you play smart. This man played it really, really dumb. I would never lose that lead ever because if he just wasn't rushing like that, he had the game in the bag 100% and we're wide open with Vucevic for three. That's my first shot ever with Vucevic. And now it's a tie game. See what this kid is doing, man. Don't rush. Don't panic. Don't force up shots, guys. Trust me. It doesn't matter. And this was like the ideal game. Going down with against a good team so I could show you guys what's up. He missed again. This kid is really rattled right now. Now we are in his head 100%. And we had all momentum going on our side. I just messed up there. I did mess up bad. And now I got to watch KG because I know he's giving it to him. And look at that defense from Batu, man. 34 seconds. We could go for a quick two for one right here. I'm just taking the smart shot wherever that may be. And it was going to be there, but nope. Look, KG, what's up, buddy? What's up? Thank you. Don't jump. Don't jump. Don't jump. Just don't do that, man. Don't do that. He's mad. I'm in his head. He had a big, big lead. And I'm in his head 100%. That's why he's rattled. Speaking of rattle, ooh, ooh, 14 seconds. We get the last shock. We still have two timeouts. Make sure you utilize those if you need them. 
Two timeouts, 14 seconds. Let's take a really smart shot here and not give him another chance because in overtime, anything could happen. We know that. We know that anything could happen in overtime. And I'm going right here. I'm going. Bang. 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 GG, man. Don't come on my court again, man, thinking you had this game won. You don't have it won. As long as you know the necessary tools to win, guys, and I'm dead serious. Like, I didn't just get lucky here. I know what I'm doing 99% of the time, right? I'm being serious. As long as you know what you're doing. You got this, 100%. Look at Vucevic, big game. And shout out to the team for taking down the, like, we the underdogs, bro. We the underdogs. We doing big things, beating the Kevin Garnett, a guy that got the level 40 reward. That James Harden is probably expensive. I don't, he might be cheaper now, but if he has badges and stuff, he's probably an expensive card. And at the end of the day, we really had no business winning that game. We were down at least 8-0. Maybe a little bit more. And I should have got Michael Red on that. I'm just being honest. We should have got Michael Red. I'm very, very confident with this team to always win games no matter what. Like, I'm so confident with any team I go in. I can't express that enough. I really cannot. Pick up Eddie Jones if y'all need him. I think Eddie Jones might be really, really good. Cheap. Uh, I love Covington, Batum. I love Bridges. Um, just those guys. AK is a vibe. Isaac is a vibe. At the center position, you have so many great options, even if it's just Wang. Honestly, I would use Josh Smith. Why not, right? Like, where is my Josh Smith? Oh, he's being graded. But there's so many great, great options, guys. If you want to leave a comment down below of your lineup, and if I would tell you guys if one of those players I probably wouldn't use or I'd recommend someone else, let me know. But at the end of the day, it's guys you're most comfortable with. So let me know who you're most comfortable with. And I'm really glad this Vucevic was hitting those threes because I've never used them before in my life. Like, never. So shout out to him. I wish you guys all the best. And you guys can see we're 2-0 without shooting a single four. We literally haven't even shot one. And we don't need to shoot them unless we're open. On the other account, if you guys watched that last video, I was shooting fours. I was more comfortable. I had the badges to shoot from there. I don't think I have the badges on this account to shoot from there. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope this video was helpful. I hope it helps you guys out a lot. If it did, please leave a like. Share it with anyone else it may help, whether it's on Twitter, one of your friends, anything like that. Reddit. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for the support. It's been your boy, Mo's Bond, and Ballin' out.